Moving on to other stories now, Japan's Prime Minister wants South Korea to address bilateral issues properly in order to form a stable relationship. Fumio Kishida emphasized that Tokyo seeks to normalize ties with Pyongyang as well. Peonji helps us read between the lines. Japan's new Prime Minister Fumio Kishida made his first policy speech to Parliament on Friday. Regarding ties with Seoul, he appears to be maintaining the same stance set by the Suga administration. Kishida describes South Korea as an important neighboring country, but demanded Seoul to take appropriate measures to restore diplomatic ties. South Korea is an important neighboring country. To make our relationship healthy and stable again, I will keep asking South Korea to address issues properly with a strong tone based on our consistent stance. In response, the South Korean government said that it plans to cooperate and communicate with the Japanese government to develop bilateral relations in a, quote, future-oriented manner. As for North Korea, Kishida said the regime's missile and nuclear development is unacceptable, but said Tokyo seeks to normalize diplomatic ties with Pyongyang by resolving what he referred to as an unfortunate wartime past. He also added that he is determined to resolve issues related to Japanese citizens being abducted by North Korean agents from the late 1970s to early 1980s. But before Kishida's speech on Thursday, North Korea said that the abduction issue has already been resolved when then-Japanese Prime Minister visited Pyongyang in September 2002 and May 2004. In a statement released by a research institute affiliated with the North Foreign Ministry, the regime warned that Kishida should be careful with his words and actions. Pyongyang has also demanded for Tokyo to make a sincere apology for the immeasurable damage it did to millions of North Korean people. This comes after Kishida had earlier said that he is willing to meet with the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to resolve the abduction issue. Pyongyang's statement on Thursday was the first time that the regime referred to the Kishida administration since it was formed earlier this week. Pei Eun-ji, Arirang News.